guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja Slay asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep a smile for today? Hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long. Y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go to Nugget. Today is on the winning team. But before I get to running my mouth, let's go and do what? Check up this manifestation jar and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I pulled out one. And that one says, what? Pay off car. Congratulations. Listen, on the winning team, do you remember growing up? And you and your friends were like, let's play baseball, let's play basketball, let's play soccer, let's play kickball, and all y'all agreed. And so y'all did what? You picked captains, right? You had two. And those two captains picked who they wanted on their teams, right? Both captains know or believe that they could win, right? But when you're on the other side of the captains, you know who's really the winner, right? Because based on their what? Victory of how many they've won so far with your experience. So you go, I hope I said that right. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, you're sitting there, you're going, oh, I hope I don't want to be on that team because they don't win all the time when she's the captain. Or they don't win all the time when he's the captain. I want to be on his team. I want to be on her team. And so you're saying, please pick me. Please pick me. And they'll say, I'll take Ruth over there. I'll take David. Mm -hmm. I'll take Sarah. I'll take Zoom. I'll take Tanya. I'll take Sonya, and then you go steal what like, oh, oh, pick me, pick me, pick me, oh, pick me, pick me. I don't want to be on that team. I don't want to be on the team. They didn't catch. They can't catch. They can't throw. They can't throw. Oh my goodness, please pick me. And hopefully, fingers crossed, toes crossed, and eyes, you're saying, please pick me. And finally, where you get picked on the team that's not the one that you wanted, right? It happens to us. It happens to us in our walking journey. We have two captains one of the captains in our walking journey winning victory streak every single time and it's who god at core the other captain is who us you me when we're not aligned and connected we'll pick us to do this and to do that when we're not aligned and connected the mind body and ego will have you thinking that you could do it all by yourself the mind, body, and ego will have you thinking that because of your degree, you can get it done. The mind, body, and ego will have you thinking because you are married to so-and-so and so, you can get it done. Your mind, body, and ego will have you thinking because you work over here at this particular job, you can get it done. And truth be told, you don't have all the skills with all of that. But you won't know it when you're not all the way aligned and connected. God is constantly saying, I pick you for my team. I'm picking you for my team. I'm on the winning team. And when you're not aligned and connected, you'll overlook. You won't even see that God got you covered. You won't even see all the winning victories that God has performed in your life before. You'll be so concentrated on what you think you can do when you're not all the way aligned and connected. It's not until you get all the way aligned and connected when God says, well, I'm picking you. And you go, oh, I'm so glad you picked me, God. God, I'm so glad you picked me on your winning team. And you'll get on God's team. He's like, okay. God, I know we're going to win this thing. I know we just got started with the game, but listen, I'm going to perform well. And how is your performance when you're on God's team? How are you going to slide into first base, slide into second base, slide into third base, and then finally slide on into home? You got to be what? Prayed up. You got to have your prayer life, right? You got to keep your seat on flee. You got to be meditating. You got to be thinking positive, thinking possible. And when you're in that mode, you'll be able to what? Get to second base. Get to third base. You already got the first base, but now you're second to third. And now you just got to slide on into home to score. And the more you pray, the more you meditate, and the more you're in that space to know who you are at core. And you're thinking positive and thinking possible and all that other good stuff. Guess what? You're going to be scoring. Score, score, score until the game is over. And when the game is over, you will learn so much about the game, which means what? About yourself. And you win again every single time that you allow God to pick you. What's been happening is that we've been picking ourselves. You've been allowing the mind, body, and ego to say, come on, my team. The team will me, myself, and I. That ego. And every single time, out, strike, foul. <laughs> you get out. You get out. You get out. Strike out, right? Strike out. And you're getting frustrated. You ain't got a point yet on the board. 
a point yet working by yourself. You haven't. Get on the winning team. On the winning team. And that's the team of God. He knows how to win. He has strategic plans. He knows when you're supposed to take off. He knows, no, nah, don't, 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 don't go yet. They ain't ready yet. Uh-uh. Wait until after I, I bat this one over the, over the fence and then run on in. But if you run it by yourself, you won't know when to run, when to stop. You won't know what to look out for because you're working alone. God is your eyes, your ears, and your senses when you're aligned and connected. When you're not aligned and connected, you're working by yourself. You out there by your lonesome. Ain't nobody shining a flashlight for you so you can see. You out there by yourself. And because of that, you keep losing. And every time you lose, you look at God like he ain't let you down. And God said, I'm trying to pick you. Come on my team. Come on on my team. You know I win. You know I've been winning ever since, way back when ago. And I'm still winning today. He has won so much for you when you were on his team, when you really trusted him. When you really want to be picked by a certain captain, that means you trust him. If you're trying to do it by yourself, that means you ain't trusting God. That means you don't trust God to get it done for you. You don't really think that he He know what he's doing, even though he created you, <laughs> even though he created everything else around you. So whatever problem that you're in right now, he knows the inner and outer works of that thing. He knows when it's going to throw a curveball, he'll have you to turn your body a certain way so when you swing the back, he'll connect with the ball and hit a home run. He knows these things. But if you want to work with me, myself, and I, with the mind, body, and ego, you're going to be forever get out. Every time you hit a ball, you think it's going to go over the fence. Out, they're going to catch it. They're going to catch it. You're going to strike out or keep hitting foul balls. I'm telling you. Get on the winning team. God is picking you. He's picking you every single time. And he always have enough room on his team. Always. Always. So listen, if you want to get a home run and make some scores and win the game that you're in, in other words, get to the manifestation, get to the promises that God has promised you, get on his team. Get your seek on fleek. Get to meditating. Get to thinking positive. Get to thinking possible. Stop focusing on a distraction. When you're so focused on the distraction, it'll cause you to get out. They'll say, oh, out. You're out. Well, my foot was on the base. No, it wasn't. You were so distracted by that distraction that your foot came off the base, off the first base. And now you're out. Now you got to go back. You gotta go back in the runner. You don't wanna have to keep starting over. Get on the winning team. Get on the winning team. You know he's the winner. You know he's the best captain. He is. So go ahead and join it. He's trying to pick you in the way he's been trying to pick you the whole time. You've been going with yourself. Me, myself, and I. The team of me. And you ain't going nowhere. You ain't won no championships. You ain't going to win no championships. You ain't going to have no championship rings. You ain't going to have none of that. No. You got to have what? The side that has the winning team. And that's God. Get on the right side. The winning team. I said that how many times? And I'm almost at nine minutes. But I hope y'all get what I'm talking about. I hope you do. But if you don't, what you got to do? Rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between times, you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability. You won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.